Baltimore City leaders are trying it again. Renewed plans for a bike share program are back on the table. The city says bikes could reduce gridlock, help the environment, and boost a healthy lifestyle for riders. Gigi Barnett explains Baltimore has nearly $3 million to get the program on the road. Chicago, Washington, D.C., and Seattle have all become dream cities for bike lovers. And now Baltimore wants to get on that list with a bike sharing program. After two failed attempts, city leaders announced this week they're going to try it again. We have a bouncing baby bike share. Armed with almost $3 million from state and federal grants, the city is ready to launch the first phase of the bike share. That includes finding a vendor to run at least 250 bikes at 25 bike share stations and getting private businesses to sign on. We absolutely need non-governmental sponsors and partners, and so as part of today's announcement, we'll be reaching out to businesses and institutions. Baltimore first tried to launch the program back in 2010, but the contract expired before it could happen. In the latest attempt, the vendor went bankrupt. We're excited about the successful programs that we see around the country now, and we're, we're hopeful that we'll see some of those same successful vendors uh, express an interest here. So how does the bike share work? It's kind of like zip car rentals. A person who wants to use them, they come in, they use a card, it releases the bike, and then they have free use of that, that uh, bike for I think about a half an hour. The city believes this time its bike sharing program will work. It's already planning two new bike lanes, one on Mullen Avenue and the other on Maryland Avenue. There is no higher priority than uh, bike share. While most bicyclists are on board with the city's program, some of them have criticized the scope of it, calling it too small. They point to cities like Washington, D.C., which has more than 3,000 bikes at 350 locations. I'm Gigi Barnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. The city says it will begin construction on the Roland Avenue and Maryland Avenue bike lanes in the spring.